So here I'm going to show you how to change wheels on a patio door, sliding patio door, or sliding glass door. Do you hear that sound? And it's pretty difficult to slide it, so that means the bearings and the wheels wore out. So I'm going to show the easiest way to replace the wheels on a patio door like this. Uh, with the aluminum frame. So not every uh, sliding glass door is the same. So this particular one, I'll show the easy, uh, easy way to replace them. So this one particular door takes these type of wheels. I already know it from experience. Uh, here's the part number. I'm gonna try to put a link in the description if I can find them where you can buy them online. I mean, these are very typical wheels for aluminum framed uh, patio doors. Before you take the rail off on the strike side with the uh, patio door handle, I usually loosen these two screws. You don't have to remove them completely, just kind of loosen them up. This way you release the pressure on this rail when you try to take the rail off. It just makes it easier. Don't forget to tighten these screws when the rail is back on. Now, take a screwdriver. It's easier to use a drill or impact gun to remove the screw here in the corner. Pull the screw out. So I have this nylon block. If you don't, you can use like a piece of wood and get yourself a rubber mallet. If you don't, you can use a regular hammer. Just don't hit it on the frame. Make sure you put a block up against the frame like so and just hit the back part of it. See how the frame came off the glass? So just pull it away a bit so we have room to pull the roller out. Grab a putty knife or you can use a screwdriver or a little pry bar. Lift up one end of the patio door and stick your pry bar underneath. So it kind of suspends the frame in the air so you can get to the roller and uh, freely pull it out. And here you go. This is the old wheel. Take the new wheel. This is the adjustment screw. So you want to adjust it at least halfway prior to putting it in, just gonna make it a little bit easier. Now slide it back into the frame. And uh, make sure this hole lines up with the hole in the frame. That's where the screw is going to go, or that's where the screw screws into. Here, let me pull the roller out. So, right there, you see it? The threaded hole in the frame. So, make sure this hole lines up with that hole. Now, before you put this frame back on, make sure this vinyl or rubber gasket on the glass is it's seated back the way it was, all the way up. So sometimes when it came off like this, uh, I would go ahead and loosen the screw on top. You don't have to pull it all the way out, just loosen it. Just loosen it like so. So this way you can peel the frame almost completely off and just fix, go ahead and fix this rubber gasket. Make sure it's seated on the glass. And then you can go ahead and put your frame back on. So you can guide the screw through the frame and kind of get it started. 
before hitting the frame back on. Uh, take your rubber mallet and you can hit the frame back on. Just gently, try not to bend it. If you don't have a rubber mallet, you can use a regular hammer, but make sure you put a piece of wood like so, or some sort of block, so you're not hitting metal on the metal. And go ahead and tighten your screws. Lift the door up, get your pry bar out. Or make sure the wheel sits directly on the track. We repeat the process on the other side. And uh, go ahead and vacuum your track. Make sure there's no debris of any kind. And now we uh, got the wheels on. Let's go ahead and close it. Don't close it all the way. Make sure you leave a little gap and check that gap, make sure it's even all the way across. Bottom, all the way to top. If it's not, you will have to uh, raise one wheel or drop it make to, to make this reveal even basically. So, there is an adjustment hole right there. Get your screwdriver in it. Clockwise, you're gonna raise the wheel up. Counterclockwise, it drops the wheel down. After you're done adjusting all the wheels, making sure this reveal nice and straight. Uh, one thing I do is I use silicone spray. And uh, there are friction points, top and bottom. I don't know if you can see it. It's like sort of like a mow here. So this is a friction point. I usually spray this. You don't necessarily have to spray the track because the wheels just sit right on top of this. I spray the sides where the door basically uh, pushes up against the small hair like a weather seal. So if you uh, spray it, do the same on top. See all this? It just makes the door slide way easier. And uh, do not use WD-40, although this is WD-40 brand, but it is a silicone spray because regular WD-40 attracts dirt, so you don't want to use that on, on the door. And now we're all done. See, you didn't even have to take the door out. You know, it took me about five years to learn this trick. I used to uh, pull the door out completely, take the bottom rail off and screw it, and then, you know, put the door back in. But with these doors, not every door is the same. This particular one, aluminum frame, we have screws in each corner holding the frame together. In a lot of cases, you can just prop it up, remove the screws, you know, pound the rail off and get to your bottom roller. Here you go. Now it just slides. 
you can use one finger to open it, close it. If you have any questions, uh, comment below. I'll try to post more videos. Uh, hopefully, get a better camera so you uh, so I can get a better view of what I'm doing and uh, better videos altogether. But any questions, uh, comment below. I'll try to answer. Thank you.